Assalamu alaikum, my dear students of class 6, having agriculture studies class. How are you? Hope all of you are healthy and hearty by the blessing of Almighty Allah. Welcome back to our online platform, NIVS Home School. This is Muhammad Abul Karam, assistant teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Dear learners, today I am going to conduct an agriculture studies class for the students of class 6. Let's look at both to understand what will be our selected topic. It is chapter 5, lesson number 10 and 11, reading plus discussion. And this is our lecture number 10 also. So, dear students, uh, we have started read, reading and learning from lesson 5 many days ago. And today, in our selected class, we have chapter 5, lesson number 10 and 11. Okay, open your agriculture studies book, page number 75. Lesson 10, titled Nutrition and Economic Importance of Cultivable Fishes. We can be economically benefited by fish farming. Fish is a very, very favorite food to, food to everybody. We eat food, fish every day with, our, with other food items. Today, the production of fish is very scanty in comparison to its demand. So, we need to meet the nutrition demand of family by fish farming in our our water bodies moreover we can earn ready cash by selling the excess product produced fish in the market the importance of fish is very vital to meet our demands of nutrition to create employment opportunities to earn foreign currency and to ensure social development the economic importance of fish is discussed below fulfillment of the of the demand of nutrition fish is the main source of protein in our everyday meal. It is a delicious and nutritious food. Protein is necessary for our physical growth and prevention of disease. A grown-up man needs 33 gram to 66 gram of protein daily. Animal protein is the best among all the proteins. But currently we eat less animal protein than required. The want of animal protein can be eradicated by increasing fish culture. So fish culture is very important. Moreover, fish oil is beneficial to health. Small fishes of different breeds such as mola, fish, jhela, kachi, fish have a lot of vitamin A. Vitamin A prevents night blind disease. The skeleton of the fishes contains a lot of calcium and phosphorus that help to build the bone of the body. Source of livelihood. About 50 million in Bangladesh, 15 million of people in Bangladesh earn their livelihood in different ways from fishes such as fish farming, catching fish, selling fish, etc. The opportunities of employment are decreasing in our country as a result of population rise. The scope of uh, employment can be created by the fish farming, uh, earning foreign currency. Bangladesh is earning a lot of foreign currency by exporting fish above abroad. 86% of the total earning fee in fish export comes from the export of prawn or shrimp or lobster. It is possible to increase the earning by the increasing fish farm. Socio-economic development. There are many shallow spawns, dishes and canals where fish is not cultivated. We can develop the economic condition of the poor and the low-income people of the villages by arranging fish farming in these water bodies. Lesson 11. Importance of pangas, cultivation and preparation of a, of a pond for cultivation. Pangas is a favorite and tasty fish once there was abundance of pangas in our rivers. But today, uh, like other fishes, the availability of pangas has decreased for many reasons. Nowadays, pangas is important, imported from the Thailand and it is cultivated in our country. This fish has a great demand in the market. Characteristics of a pangas, you will read this. Benefits of pangas, you will also read this. Now we will go to next point, page number 77. It is pond preparation for cultivation. Okay. Look at a pond needs to be prepared before the fry are uh, are released in the pond. The following steps are to be followed to prepare a pond. So look, there are here you will see five points. Okay, I am only telling you the name of the points. It is pond bank repairing. Next, cleaning the points. Pond again, destroying carnivorous and unnecessary fishes. Application of lime. Application of fertilizer in the pond. So dear students, with this we have finished lesson number 10 and 11 from chapter 5 i hope that you will read this text at least five times at home and today we have no homework see you again inshallah assalamu alaikum